You know, I'm excited that August is National Psoriasis Foundation's Psoriatic Disease Awareness Month. Um, I think that one of the things about psoriatic disease, psoriasis, and psoriatic arthritis is that we've got amazing therapeutics in the toolbox to treat our patients. But there are a lot of patients that are out there, despite the fact that we have therapeutics that we see in direct-to-consumer ads and other advertisements and on social media, there are still a number of patients that are not being met, that are not being reached. And I think the subject of psoriatic arthritis, which I spoke about at this meeting, um, is, is critically important because I think even as dermatologists, in busy clinics, um, those of us that care for patients, dermatologists, advanced practice practitioners, it would be easy to pass by and not ask the right questions of these patients. We have to heighten the awareness of the significance of joint disease uh, in psoriatic disease, and it is a disease. It's not just a disease of the skin. We have to ask the right questions. Ask about whether these individuals have morning stiffness. Do they have nail changes? Do they have pain in their heels? Um, do they have spine pain? Um, how long does it take for morning stiffness to improve over the course of a particular amount of time? If it takes more than about an hour for stiffness that one feels who has psoriatic skin disease uh, in the, um, the morning, for instance, um, then they may have an inflammatory arthritis in the background. One of the things I talked about in my presentation are the clinical clues for psoriatic arthritis because at first, those that provide care in dermatology are very likely to be the first individuals to make the diagnosis of psoriatic arthritis because skin disease predates joint disease by as much as 10, 11, or 12 years. And about 30 to 40% of our patients with psoriasis are gonna move on and potentially develop psoriatic joint disease or psoriatic arthritis.